Good morning, dear hearts. All right, we are at lesson 257. Let me remember what my purpose is. Now, it just doesn't say exactly what I'm supposed to remember, but I'm gonna tell you, our purpose here is salvation. That is why we are here. Uh, we've had several lessons in the past. Uh, my salvation comes from me. Only God's plan for salvation of the world will work. Um, holding grievances is an attack on God's plan for salvation. And the salvation is my only function here. So, you know, we've, we've been told this information along the way in many, many different lessons. And probably one of the ones that um, might seem the most daunting is the salvation of the world depends on me. So let me remember what my purpose is. Now in the text, we are told that a journey without a purpose is meaningless and we are on a journey. And our journey is here, salvation. Um, salvation is the healing of the split mind and when we heal the split mind, we're healing the world, okay? We are reuniting. It's the reunification of the mind of the Son of God with his Father. It's the joining of our will with God's will, recognizing that, indeed, they are the same. This world has uh, often made us believe that that's not true, that there are two separate wills, and we have one, and God has another, and we've been made uh, to be afraid of what God's will for us is, thinking that it is something other than what we would want. And the Course goes through many, many lengths to instruct us, to teach us that indeed, God's will for us is exactly the same as what our own will is for us. Now, in order for us to have salvation, okay, it's going to entail the releasing, the forgiving of every grievance that we have ever had, every judgment that we have ever had. I see a cat in the background. Um, and that removes all thoughts of sin from the world, okay? That ends the conflict that we've been experiencing. We've been experiencing, I have been experiencing, uh, you perhaps as well, of so much in the world seems in conflict and chaos and, and daunting and foreboding. Salvation will release all of those thoughts from our mind, okay? Because it releases every judgment, every sin that we have held on to. Remember, this section is about what is sin and every grievance. All of those, if I hold on to them, they will hold back salvation from coming into my mind. And if I don't have the thought of salvation within me, then I cannot extend that to you, to the world, and um, the healing of the world, which is, you know, one of the reasons we are here. We are here to heal, will be held back. Um, this lesson says, no one can serve contradictory goals and serve them well. So if I'm believing, <clears throat> pardon me, that my will is separate from God's, that is in a contradiction in my mind and that just increases conflict. And in the second part of the lesson, it says, Father, forgiveness is your chosen means for our salvation. The forgiveness, the release of every grievance, every thought of conflict, every thought of sin is going to pave the way for our salvation and the salvation of the world because it depends on us. That's it. Um, I hope this helped. I uh, hope you are having a beautiful day. Uh, please like, please share, please subscribe, uh, please comment, and please be here tomorrow. Namaste.